son of a lot. I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow. And make him amenable to my wishes. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... He always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. Oh, but then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. How can I tell Brocco we're missing the tools? Now Brocco is all alone. How will he manage without his big brother to guide him? I'll cut down that oak tree now, Sindri. Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? <laughs> Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri? To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground, right where they should be. I'm very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs is exhausting. Oh, Loki. Friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your gilded conversation, even the lies. If I were Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. Aid me, be my eyes. Majestic oak. Surely this is Sindri's beloved acorn tree. That nest was a thousand hidey hole. If I had wings, I could reach it easily enough. Zunin, guide me. Finally, the tools of Sindri's trade.
Disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the meat, not the company. You dwarves and your love of meat. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off! We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. We cast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. Not now. I need time to grieve. My brother, a true master, he was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. 
Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Brocker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine suitor was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svartalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. Senses. If he hasn't, I must encourage him further. <laughs>